Hey, it's JC1424 once again with NASCAR the game inside line. And in this episode of our season as Scott Speed and his number 95 Levine Family Racing Ford, we're gonna be doing the Coca-Cola 600 at Charlotte Motor Speedway. I hate Coca-Cola. But last episode, just last weekend, we did the All-Star. We also had to do the showdown because I hadn't won a race or gotten a pole or any of that crap. And we won the showdown. Then we won the All-Star. <coughs> I got a bubble in my throat. <coughs> Let me get the fuck out of all this intro crap and then we'll get on to the qualifying in the race. I'm still the points leader. After the Darlington race, that was a big mess. I hated racing there, mostly because of AI. The track was pretty great, though. And we're two points ahead of Casey Kane, and we've gotten really far away from Greg Biffle. I think he finished like 31st at Darlington. It is insanely difficult to drive around this track when you're not up to speed, man. I came off pit road, and this car was being wonky, like for four attempts of me just trying to get through turn three and four. It's not the proper speed to, to go into the corner, I guess. And also, I had to restart a couple times because the axle was keep on breaking. Like, I don't know how it gets broken without me touching anything, but that's how the game works. Casey Kane is on the pole, the 2769. Well, that kind of hurts. We only got one lap in qualifying in this game, and we're starting 29. Maybe the second one will be better. Who knows? Nope. 29. At least it's on the inside. It's Stock Car Racing's longest night. Welcome to the Coca-Cola 600 at Charlotte. I'm Mike Joy alongside Daryl Waltrip. Mike, this is the longest race we have all year long. It's 600 miles. It's grueling. It wears you and your car out. It just, the team, the, everybody has to get involved to be able to win this race. This is the toughest race on the circuit. Joey Logano has the best average finish here. Jimmy Johnson, six wins. Jeff Gordon's five. Who are you picking? Well, I like the way it came down last year, you know, between Kevin Harvick and Dale Jr. Harvick won. Got to get good gas mileage. Just ask Dale Jr. Right, Daryl. At Charlotte, the night time is the right time. Here we go. Marcus Ambrose is a potato. And that's all I got to say about that. So, 40 laps. Starting from the inside. Uh, it looks like there, there's not really any checkup on either side. Oh, a little bit from the outside. Now, this is going to be difficult because, you know, we're not really that good with the steering until we're up to speed. Okay, now the outside's checking up. Come on, steering. Stop being so difficult for me and my, my dumb brain. Uh, we're side by side with Trevor Bain. He's laying open in the bottom right here. He closed it on me. That's scary. Oh, we're up to speed now, so it's all good. Oh, stupid stack up. Why are you doing this? Okay, well, moving forward, but the tires wear down. We can't really pass anybody anymore. I uh, still stack up with these guys, and my car is sliding out of the bottom. It's like I'm trying to avoid hitting the apron. In the process, I go straight up towards the wall. It's like there's, there's no if and or between it. It's realistic, but that doesn't mean I gotta fucking like it. Making shoot shit too complicated. I ain't have no steering wheel, and you shouldn't have to buy a steering wheel to play a video game. Okay, we're 19th, getting 10 spots in the first couple laps. Got some cars in front of me. Uh, oh my god, Menard, what the hell just happened there? But uh, I was gonna say, looks like our first stop will be, uh, like, lap 13 of the race? Something like that? I don't know. Maybe the tires will wear down first, who knows. I'm right behind these guys, but there's no lane to pass me. They have to check up and get out of my way like that. They're like, yeah, check up and out of my way. Oh, good God, it's like five positions, one straightaway. Okay, let's not hit, let, let's not hit Boyer. I can't avoid hitting Boyer because he will not stop being a little boy. Be a man. Damn roll tide car, you, you raced like a pussy. God, come Boyer. What the hell is Matt Kinsley coming back up beside me? I'm trying to clear him. Okay, there we go, back up to 13th. Car is getting tight when the tires are wearing down. Casey Kane is just leading this thing, getting them points. I hate that. They still gave out points for leading laps, right? I think that. I don't know what the points were that really was in 2012. I know there was a chase and like a lucky card spot or whatever the hell. 
Okay, got our first caution. I have like probably 10 in this race. It'd have to happen one every four laps for that to be the case, so I don't know. Oh my god! <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh my god! I'm so lost. Okay, that's probably one of the best moments of the last play. I mean, sure, it was a big wreck, but usually they don't just explode, okay? I don't think anybody saw that coming. I thought someone just drove into the wall and then tied up. Okay, um, we're gonna we get two right side tires and we're gonna fill the tank. I don't have any damage, so we're not gonna do that. Um, yeah, even though you get a, a full tank of fuel, the, the, the whenever you try to get right side tires, it still takes us as long. I don't think that it takes that long to get fuel. And I'll give you guys one good look at, at a pit stop in this race, because I don't show them that often, because they all look the same. I swear, it's the exact same thing every time. But you just, they just cut it short or start at one place or another. I lost three spots. So we're going to be coming to this restart 16th. Uh, yeah, we were 13th, so yeah, they got the math right. I'm starting to realize that when there is a caution, that screen right there, that is the order the cars are in. That is not the position that you're in. I mean, I could be the 16th car in line, but I might not be actually 16th. And I think that's stupid and confusing. They should not make the game design like that, but it's it already came out freaking nine years ago. Okay, great restart. Got down on the inside. They're checking up. Of course, kids have got around us, but... I'm gonna carry a run into turn three, but I don't want to stick my nose in there, so that, that would be smart. And it's kind of hard to not pass you whenever you're driving so damn slow. There's Biffle. Gotta make up some points. They're gonna check up right here. They're all blocking the wall. Well, they usually check up right here. I mean, it's happened like three times! Three times! They did it. There's your fourth time. Uh oh! Marcus Ambrose, you're a potato. That's probably the video title. Potato Ambrose? Or Marcos Potato? No. And another caution, and they did that thing again where there's a caution did right up in my face. Michael McDowell blew a tire. Actually throwing cautions for tires? Blown? I've blown tires, y'all didn't do a damn thing! Uh, I don't know if I want to pit right now. There's probably be another caution. And uh, almost everyone in front of me is pitting. Except for Casey Kane, of course not. Well, I, I want to go out there and see if I can lead a lap because this might be our only chance. And I should be able to. Stay focused. Don't make a move for that start line. I, I don't really have the choice. Why do they say that? They don't give you the choice. There's not even a restart zone in here. So the restart, um, as far as like wheel spin, that is under my control this game. I already got one Pablo Montoya getting my inside. Oh, the car is getting loose. It's it's getting loose. It's, I'm losing control of it. Ah. Trevor Bain, I hate you. I hate you. Why is David Stremme always up front? Why is Dave Blaney up here? Why is any of this shit like this? Ah, uh, I tried seeing if I get a lap lead and all that. Ugh! I'm not trying to wreck one problem on Toya. The car is oversteering, and I don't know how to control that because I'm playing this game with a controller, not a steering wheel. We're fourth, so that's really good. Please stop trying to wreck people, car. It's like one second the car ain't steering at all, the next it's steering way too much, and then I try to steer a little bit less or a little bit more, and then and I, I just can't fixate on that. I, I don't know how to manage it. Like we're sliding right now. We're sliding, then we're tight. Then we're sliding, then we're tight. Uh, this is going to be my best lap of the race. I'm surprised how that works, because you know we had a pretty fair green flag run of like four laps at the start. Oh my god, I hate driving this goddamn piece of shit. And then a third caution. Oh my god! Why why do y'all do this to me? Why do y'all throw the caution and then keep me under control of the car? A while ago they didn't do that. You know, you think I'm an idiot because I can't simply drive my car, but look at this garbage. We're probably gonna wind up having a wreck like that in every turn at this rate. So now we gotta get four tires, so we only got right side last time, and I think my car's handling is getting affected by that. Uh, I don't think it really matters if I get a splash of fuel or not, because in the end, 
the stop is already going to be 17 seconds. Okay, that's reasonable. We lost nine spots on pit road. Six guys uh, stayed out in front of us. So that means we only lost three spots actually during our pit stop from the other guys. Um, there's Casey Kane. That's the guy I'm keeping my eyes on. Driving his Quaker State car. It's a nice car. Gotta like the Quaker State car. People forget about that one. This Energizer car here is nice. I always dreamed of like a Energizer car that was like the design of the battery itself. The black and the lightning and the chrome. Oh my god. Trying to have a better restart than Casey Kane right here, then y'all checking up in front of me. And we did have a better restart than them, but I gotta keep on passing cars so I can put some in between them. You know how it works. Man, Jeff Burton's closing the inside on me. Why? Like, I could be going faster and making my steering through the corner easier, and y'all do that. It's bad enough I suck, but y'all are making me suck more. What is... what? Oh! Oh, fuck! I was asking, what the heck was that guy doing? I don't know if that was Kenseth in some light blue car or what, and then freaking Stenhouse got bashed by him. Was it the 43 car? Or... Yeah, that's uh, Eric Almarola. I was wondering what he was doing. And he killed Stenhouse. He's all flipped over. I'm telling you, every corner on the track is going to happen. Okay, a couple guys are pitting. So we should be, yeah, third on the inside. Danica Patrick's going to lead the restart. Uh, I've got relatively fresh tires. We didn't even make it an entire lap before that wreck started happening. But these tires can still be pretty worn out from just one lap. That's why our second lap of qualifying always sucks by like two tenths. Damn. Danica got rammed. I mean, we already knew that, but... Okay, I'm a good restart, Pete Menard. My outside restarts aren't that good, but the inside, yes. Okay, can we carry a run down the back stretch? Maybe? No, not really. Ah, she's kind of getting in the way. Oh, she checked up on the bottom, but my car's too tight to actually make the pass work. Well, that sucks. I mean, if she checked up in the middle of the front stretch, that would be great. I still, I'm right behind her, I could probably make a pass, but I don't know if I'll be able to keep the spot. Here we come. Oh, the looseness is occurring. It is occurring. The looseness, it's there. It, it is happening. Aye, 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 aye. I want this. I want that lap leg. Why, why would I have such a hard time taking the lead from Danica Patrick? Oh, oh! I can't do it. I can't take the lead from Danica Patrick. I'm Scott Speed, and I don't have speed. Jesus fucking Christ, I hate this stupid apron. Car front's heading to the pit. Oh, oh. No, he just told me that, but I kind of neglected who it was about. So, I'm actually going to lead a lap. And I'm all out of rewinds. So this car could get destroyed any minute by these apron glitches and wall glitches and, well, this terrible handling car in general. On the and here goes Harvick taking the lead from us. It's much easier to get through a corner whenever I'm far away from the apron, but I can still fuck it up either way. How is my fastest lap of the race, like, towards the end of the run? I, I don't get... I, I, uh, 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 Nah, it might be the Coca-Cola 600 and the gamble is everything, but I know how big the fuel tank is. Oh, and then a caution comes out. Why did my car stop turning? What the fuck? I didn't stop turning, but the car stopped turning. I probably obtained damage from that. David Strimmy, what are you doing? So I'm going to get my four tires my full tank of fuel, and we're gonna try to win this race. Because I might have the pace to do it. Okay, we'll come to the restart on the front row. It's a Denny Hamlin in his FedEx freight car. Gotta love that. So it's gonna be like a, an 11 lap shootout. There's probably gonna be some caution, just AI screwing around. We've got fresh tires. I seem to handle this car better in the middle of the run, I guess, because I somehow managed to improve my best lap towards the end of the run. The car gets a little more stiff then, it's not willing to steer more than necessary or some shit. Good restart. Let's try to nail turn three right here, like we did in the All-Star. I mean, 
I guess you could say that's nailing it. I didn't hit the wall, didn't hit the apron, and I went relatively quick. Let's try to stick why well, yeah, I was telling you the cautions and then there's caution. We got six cautions, four more to go, and we'll have reached the cap of uh ten cautions. That's what I estimated. Dale Jr., what you doing, Dale Jr.? You're being stupid. You cut off Sam Horney Jr. Uh, okay, let's try this again. Except on worn tires. Great. Don't you wreck me. You would do that. You'd wreck his Lowski. Well, that was nice until it started doing whatever the heck that was. Ah, 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 ah. Oh my god, I hate driving at this track. It's gotta be the hardest track that I've tried to race at since we started this fucking season. Kyle Busch is pitting? Why is Kyle Busch pitting? Uh, whatever, that's good. Next flag ends the race. I've got a 1.2 second lead over Martin Truex Jr. All I have to do is not do that uh, wiggly, canny, wumpus doodah off of a corner, and we're going to finally win our first race of the season. I mean, I won the All-Star and Showdown to get into the All-Star, but, I mean, those aren't, like, points races. And if I chose a race to win, I won the longest one. One of the most special ones. We won the Coca-Cola 600! Gosh, I waited so freaking long to win a race. <sighs> that was not easy. Driving this car was not easy. I could have easily handed it away to Martin Trex Jr. at any point. You did it. Your first full cup win, and you did it in style. Okay, we get to do some donuts. I'm trying to, but the car will not turn and do the donuts. There we go. Yes. Yes. I like how they're using this old Cold Cold 600 logo. Like, they, they just never wanted to update it. Why can't this car do donuts? Why can't you do the spinny, rotating, smoky? Come on. There we go. I hate doing donuts. This is miserable. The car doesn't like it. Was that Scott Speed? I don't know if that looks like Scott Speed because I don't even remember what the heck he looks like. It looks like a generic driver to me. So, yeah, our best lap was uh, lap 35, 29-15. And compared to a lot of other drivers' best laps, you know, it's not that bad. I mean, I kind of maintained uh, staying in first, second, that whole area for the entire second half of the race, I guess. Casey Kane finishes five spots behind me, so that's a good points gain for us. Greg Biffle finished tenth, so he still loses points, but it's, it's a good run. You gotta do better now. You gotta finish ahead of both of us to gain it back. Um, who had the fastest lap of the race, and where, what the heck? Usually got a little star and everything like that. Kevin Harvick, and he finished 32nd. Yeah, he, he was he passed me for the lead at one point, so that that's kind of sad. That win gets us to an 11-point lead over Casey Kane. We are 37 points in front of Greg Biffle right now, who is 26 behind Casey Kane. Martin Trix Jr. was already in fourth, but that performance, I, I guess he just um, kept himself up here with everybody. He could get to Biffle soon, maybe Casey Kane, but we just got to keep an eye on him. Marcus Ambrose gained two spots from that race, and now he's fifth with some kind of potato tomfoolery, but that he's been doing that all season. Carl Edwards 7th, Jeff Gordon 8th, Kenseth 9th, Kyle Busch 10th. So, I mean, I understand these eight, eight, these four guys being here, along with Greg Biffle, maybe Casey Kane, but it still sucks to see drivers like Jimmy Johnson, Kevin Harvick, Tony Stewart, Keselowski, Delonar Jr., Denny Hamlin, all back here. I mean, 2012 was a pretty good year for Delonar Jr. He, he was having a bit of a slump for a while, but he, he was all right in 2012. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow whenever we go to Dover. I don't know if I like racing at Dover in this game. I really didn't like it in NASCAR 15, but this game is a little bit different than that one. N not much. The AI are still stupid, but I don't know how what kind of stupid they are at Dover. We're going to have to find out. See you next time. That's that, and episode over.